We now bring you to the advanced Lima Lama self-defense video. Remember, you should have studied volume one and volume two fundamentals and intermediate techniques before going on to this tape. Now, Lima Lama techniques against two assailants. Watch carefully. Again, this is advanced. Do not attempt it unless you know the foundation of the system. The master stays very cool and relaxed. Deflects a front kick, counters with an elbow. Meets his other attacker with a block. Elbows to the back of his other assailant, breaking the neck. Blocking the other attacker's punch. Now grabbing the attacker controlling him, making a circular move, flipping him to the ground. The first attacker comes in, blocks the punch, strikes the throat, goes underneath his arm, elbows to the ribs, breaks the rib cage, grabs the attacker's hair, slams him to his back. Now, at full speed. This is a very realistic speed. And again, slow motion so you can see each movement. Lima Lama against two attackers. Notice how the master keeps his eye on both men at the same time. The master uses their force against themselves. He never really meets them head on. He deflects the attacks. This, of course, has all been studied carefully in the fundamental videos on Lima Lama and Lima Lama Volume 2. All theories have been covered. So we assume you know all this as we get into the advanced techniques. Take advantage of your opponent's hair. It hurts and he'll go with you. Each technique will be shown many times so you can study each move carefully, fast, and in slow motion. Two men again tacking. Different defensive moves. Watch in slow motion now. Look at how the master is in complete control. He's relaxed, yet explosive, ready to strike like a lion. Breaks the jaw, elbows the base of the neck. All excellent infighting techniques, sidesteps the punch, controls the punching arm, controls the opponent, goes under the arm, flips him to the ground. Blocks, strikes into the throat. Circular movement. Gramming the hair again and slamming to the ground. Yeah. 
Now at realistic speed. Now a new technique, the assailants are coming at the side and one to the front as he tries to grab, he strikes the throat of the first assailant, slaps the kick down of the second, blocks the punch, comes underneath the punch gets to the side of the opponent, blocks the other attacker's punch, controls the first attacker by the hair, very painful, sends him flying to the ground. Get it fast. You cannot learn these techniques by looking at them once. Play them over and over again until they become a reflex in your mind. That circular move there is what breaks the grip on the shoulder. He follows that move with a strike to the throat. Blocks the kick blocks the punch, quickly goes underneath the punching hand, flipping the opponent. Never taking his eyes off the attackers. Did you master every move? Did you see every move? If not, watch it again. The grab. The grab is broken immediately. Strike to the throat. Keeps his eyes on the front man who comes in to help his opponent.
in this attack. An assailant is behind and one in front. Watch how the master handles them. As the attack from the rear comes in with a bear hug, he breaks the grip immediately, elbowing the solar plexus, blocking the kick. Blocks the punch, again underneath, redirects the other attacker's punch. Strikes the throat, takes down at the same time. Turns to meet the other attacker, blocking. A very quick circular movement around the jaw, slamming him on his back. Notice how the attackers cause their own downfall as the master redirects their force. This is Lima Lama, circular technique. Again, two-man attack, defense. Wow, look at it. These techniques are designed to make you think, show you all the possibilities of defending yourself. He breaks the elbow of the first attacker, blocks the second's punch underneath, taking him to the ground, meets his other opponent, Blocks his hand, blocks again. Breaks the ribs. And a flip to the ground. Ish. Quickly. Now the following technique is an advanced training drill using two opponents. The master will defend against impromptu attacks. This features many advanced flipping techniques. He starts out slowly. And as you see, he will build up as he goes. He doesn't know what's coming. He reacts instinctively. Realistically, the way it would happen on the street. On the streets, you just don't know what's coming. That's why this training is so important in developing reflexes, timing, and confidence in your abilities.
As you can see, Lima Lama is mostly a hand art. Would say 60% hands, 40% feet. An excellent art for learning good, strong hand fighting ability. Now, full speed. Watch the power and grace in slow motion. Now, what do you do if someone pulls a knife on you? Well, it's an ugly situation to be in, but the techniques of Lima Lama may help save your life. Pay attention carefully. As the attacker comes in, the master uses a circular block, turns it to, into a wrist lock and a stomp. He sidesteps the knife, blocks it away, controls the knife hand, never lets go of the weapon hand. Reverse wrist lock and flip to the ground. Stomps to the ribs, and again, always applying pressure to the wrist, turning the palm down, watch. Brings him off balance, brings him back. The quick circular movement causes a momentum buildup.
This technique is against a slash to the stomach. Watch. Yeah! 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 The attacker tries a front kick to the ribs. Master sidesteps it. He tries to follow with a stab. Master shootos his arm, breaks his wrist or elbow. Strike the back of the neck and a palm heel strike to the jaw. Again, Lima Lama's theory of moving away from the force, but yet controlling the attacker. Watch that one again. The attacker is right on you. Turn his wrist into his own body in slow motion, without panicking, keeping his head, the master reacts with lightning speed, strikes solar plexus and stomach, takes the knife hand, turns it around and in. The attacker strikes himself in the throat. Hit, grab at the same time, then with both hands grab the knife hand and reverse the strike. It is very important to always control that weapon hand. Now against a gun. Again, a very dire situation, but if you're skilled properly, it is possible to come out on top. Watch. The gun right on his head. Master slaps it away. He gets out of the line of fire and immediately grabs that weapon hand, controlling that gun. He follows up with a devastating elbow to the ribs, which would crush the lungs. Hammer fist breaks the elbow, and that mugger won't be shooting the gun any longer. It looks like an impossible situation, but it's not if you're skilled properly. What do you have to lose? Slaps that gun away. Stay out of the line of fire and control that weapon hand. A gun to the side of the head. Turned into a reversed wrist lock, breaking the wrist. Do the movements with the master at home. Imagine being assaulted like this and go through the self-defense techniques.
Now, a gun to the rear of the head. Take notes on this one. It's a great technique. Let's watch it slowly now. He has him in an arm lock. The gun's at the back of the head. You've seen this in a lot of movies, I'm sure, about hostage taking or whatever. But there is a defense if you're skilled. Breaks away. Gets a hold of that wrist. Controls that weapon. Bye-bye, mugger. You can't imagine the amount of pain that wrist lock can inflict on you. And if he pulls the trigger, look where the gun's pointing. Again, like we say, watch this over and over again. By doing that, it becomes second nature. You go into your school and you have the technique down. You can really be amazed at how much you can learn through constant repetition of technique, of observance. You don't memorize these watching them one time. You have to watch where the foot placements are, if they're moving left or right, what hand holds the gun, all these things are important. Quickly. Now, in a seated position, you're not limited. If you're trained well, watch. This could be a situation of being held hostage your attackers are trying to intimidate you. They would never think you'd try to react, but you do and completely surprise them. Going for the gun hand, controlling it, turning it into a wrist lock, driving your attacker straight forward off balance into the ground. It's the main thing, take away your opponent's balance. Look at it. Again, slow motion. Now we get to the short stick fighting techniques of Lima Lama. 
These are devastating techniques performed with a 12 inch stick. Now, if attacked, you could grab a stick yeah. and yeah. turn it into an awesome yeah. weapon, as you'll see. Stick against knife, and the stick wins. Again, incorporating the circular locking and continuous striking techniques of Lima Lama with a weapon. Using the stick is an extension of the hand techniques of this powerful martial art.
We now come to the five required Lima Lama forms, or katas. These katas can be used in competition and are developed for training to strengthen your reflexes, speed, power, timing, distancing, all that is required to make you a strong Lima Lama martial artist. Study the forms carefully and master each movement. If you do so, you're sure to notice a tremendous increase in the ability of your techniques. These tie together all the techniques taught on Lima Lama tapes one, two, and three. Study each form carefully as they will be done slowly and at full competition speed. They are required for your belt ranks in Lima Lama, so they must be mastered. And if you do seek rank in this martial art, you can be personally tested by Master Tabura. Write to Panther Productions, care of Master Ted Tabura, and he will contact you personally about entering his exciting martial arts system. Now, no further words said. Study each form carefully.